Quintana Island, Texas, where Freeport LNG's natural gas liquefaction plant is located to export U.S. LNG to world markets. Its location also benefits from its proximity to the extensive intra and interstate gas pipeline grid. It leverages Freeport LNG's regasification facilities for LNG imports completed in 2008. Utilizing the pipeline, dock, storage tanks, and other equipment already in place. The plant is capable of processing over 2 billion cubic feet of gas a day. The feed gas arriving from the pipeline grid is metered and travels down a 42-inch pipeline at a pressure of 600 pounds per square inch to the pretreatment plant. The raw natural gas enters the inlet separators that remove any bulk liquids that may be entrained in the gas and proceeds to inlet filter coalesces and mercury guard beds where any traces of mercury are removed using activated carbon absorbent. This prevents corrosion of aluminum components in downstream equipment. The feed gas is then compressed for optimum process efficiency and proceeds to three pretreatment trains where it's first fed into the acid gas removal unit. Corrosive acid gases such as hydrogen sulfide and carbon dioxide are removed using an amine solution. Dehydration then removes water vapor that would otherwise freeze in downstream equipment. After the dehydrators, gas is sent to the NGL extraction unit, where heavier hydrocarbons are separated from the gas stream. After passing through outlet compressors, the purified gas travels to the liquefaction facility at a pressure of 1100 PSIG. Each of its three liquefaction trains produces up to 5 million tons of LNG per year, depending on gas quality, using the Air Products Propane Pre-Cooled Mixed Refrigerant Process. This technology has become the worldwide standard for gas liquefaction plants. The refrigeration power is provided by three variable frequency drive electric motors that drive three compressors per train. Each motor's power is equivalent to that needed to propel a Boeing 747-400 aircraft at cruising altitude. Cooling for the refrigeration process is provided by 144 fin-fan air coolers in each train. Two-thirds of them are used in the propane circuit. Propane, acting as refrigerant, pre-cools the natural gas to minus 30 degrees Fahrenheit. The gas then enters the main cryogenic heat exchanger, MCHE, which contains nearly 1,500 miles of close wound tubing. Here, the gas is cooled using a multi-component refrigerant. In this final cooling step, the temperature drops to minus 263 degrees Fahrenheit, and the gas condenses into liquid. The LNG exiting the MCHE is depressurized and delivered to storage tanks at near atmospheric pressure. Each tank holds enough LNG to fill a conventional size LNG carrier. From there, it can be pumped to either of two marine docks and loaded onto customers' vessels which deliver the liquefied natural gas from Freeport to an expanding global LNG market. <laughs>